This is the 2024 GMC Yukon SLT, and in this video, we'll take a look at it inside and out. My name is Joko, and welcome to Urban Auto Adventures. If you like these types of videos, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button down below. It'll mean a lot to me, and it will help out the channel quite a bit. Now back to this here. We have a huge front of the GMC Yukon SLT. We have this very nice and aggressive hood design, the chrome accented front grille with the GMC emblem right in the center, a front facing camera right here as well. Moving on to our headlights, we have LED headlights as well as LED daylight running lights. Right below them, we have our LED fog lights proximity sensors on our front bumper, as well as this very stylishly designed front spoiler. And thank you to Darcy Buick and GMC here in Joliet, Illinois for lending me one of their vehicles so I can do a walk around video. I'll put a link to their website down in the description below if you want to check it out. Now back to the video. The 2024 GMC Yukon SLT is 210 inches long, 81 inches wide and 77 inches tall. And it has a ground clearance of 8 inches. Looking at the side of the Yukon SLT, one can truly appreciate actually the size of it and the fact that it, this is the perfect family sized SUV. You get these 20 inch wheels with the six spoke polished aluminum rims. You also get disc brakes in the front and in the back. On the bottom, you get a protective trim here, a plastic as you can see black trim. Down here, you also have from wheel to wheel a additional step here with a textured surface to help you with the grip when you step on the surface so you don't slip. We have this nice chrome accented trim here on the bottom of the door. The Yukon emblem here, another GMC emblem right here on the side of the panel. We have these bicolored, very beautifully designed side view mirrors actually. We have a body color on the top and a high gloss trim here on the bottom. They're auto dimming, power and heated side view mirrors. We also have a LED light here on the side as well as a camera here on the side and kind of underneath the mirror to help us with our 360 view of the vehicle as well as the blind spot on the back and in the front tire, which is very convenient. A very elegant design of our door handles, chrome trim on the top and the bottom of the door handle, as well as a very nice strip here of the body color on the front. We have high gloss trim around the bottom and the top of our windows, as you can see. Aluminum roof rails on top, as well as this huge window here for our third row seaters. Looking at it from the back, we definitely noticed the simplistic yet elegant design that GMC went for with their Yukon SLT. We have a very sportish looking uh, spoiler here on the top with our LED brake light uh, hidden right here. Behind the brake light, we have our rear window wiper. This huge rear window here in the back. And the cool thing is you can actually open the window and have access to the you know, trunk space here in the back. And you can do that by pushing the rubberized button down here on this side. It unlocks the window and you simply lift it. And what I find interesting is this is how you can access and change your rear window wiper actually, instead of, you know, fiddling and uh, going underneath the spoiler right there, which is very convenient as well. The access opening is fairly large and you can actually store longer items, you know, leaning out of the window if you don't want to necessarily open the entire lift gate. To close it, all you do is you simply push it like that and it locks into place. Next, we have a chrome element right here, our GMC emblem with our backup camera right here. We have our Yukon emblem on this side, our SLT emblem on this side. We have our LED taillights here, as you can see. We have a nice protective plastic cover here on our rear bumper to protect it, you know, when we're either taking things off of the trunk or putting heavier things inside the trunk. A very nice chrome trim element here on our bumper with our proximity sensors, of course, with our exhaust pipe hidden underneath the bumper here, as well as our spare tire underneath the trunk space here. Now, if you want to open up the main lift gate, what you can do is you can push the rubberized button underneath here, which will open up the lift gate. We have a automatic lift gate and the trunk space that you get here in the Yukon SLT, even with the third row seats up, is plenty for your daily groceries and even shorter trips with the family. There's not much to talk about on the driver's side, except you get a few hooks here and there to, you know, attach things so they're not moving around. On the passenger side, you do get a 15 volt house outlet right here. 
and this is also where you can control the seats we'll get to that in a second now if this space is not enough you also get a little bit of additional storage here hidden storage in the form of uh, underneath this liner it's a little bit shallow but i'm sure you there is some things that you can fit here maybe a towel or two or something that is more flat if uh, again this space is not enough what you can do is you can put down the third row and you can put down even the second row from here from the back you can lower the third row by simply pushing and holding on to the buttons right here like that that will recline put down the third row seat and now you have an even larger space for you know for longer trips or for even larger items which is also very convenient but in cases where even this space is not enough like i said what you can do is you can lower the second row of seats as well and you can do that from here too by simply pushing on the buttons which will automatically lower the seats now this is a huge space here where you can fit even larger items and I, I dare to say that you can probably fit a queen size mattress in here and if you go camping you can camp out in your car as well which is very cool. To put up the seats uh, you cannot put up the second row seats from the back you have to go around but it's very simple all you do is simply put up the seat in its upright position raise the, the headrest close this door and you do the same thing from this side all you do lift up the seat in its original position raise the headrest and that's it as for the third row seats what you can do is you can raise them from here you just push and hold on to the buttons which will simply raise the seat in their original positions all you can do now is raise the headrests to close the lift gate you push on the button right here and it automatically closes the lift gate for you when it comes to the engine specs of this 2024 Yukon SLT, uh, we get a 5.3 liter V8 configuration, which with the 10 speed automatic transmission, as well as the four by four wheel drive uh, that it offers, puts out a massive 355 horsepower or 383 pound-feet of torque. Now, what you also want to know is where you put your windshield washer fluid and it's hidden right here to the side of the engine where you don't spill any windshield washer fluid all over your engine compartments. Nice. Sitting inside the 2024 Yukon SLT, you actually get exactly what you were expecting when it comes to, you know, a fully loaded model. This particular model gets a very nice jet black interior here with some lighter colored stitching here and there on our seats. You also get this perforated leather material here on the dashboard, which gives it a very sportish look as well. Uh, leather material on our dashboard overall. You also get chrome accented trim uh, throughout the entire vehicle. And overall, the feel that you get here inside the 2024 Yukon SLT is very elegant, very stylish and very spacious too. Speaking of space and style, well, let's talk about some of the convenience and safety features that the Yukon SLT offers and let's start with our passenger side. We have a fairly sized glove box compartment actually that you can fit your owner's manual maybe you know a couple of pairs of sunglasses right above it we have this very nice perforated leather on our dashboard we have a deeper storage compartment door right here that you can access by simply pushing the button and opening the door it goes fairly deep actually uh, inside right next to it we have our 10.2 infotainment system with apple carplay and android auto right next to our infotainment system we have our push button gear selector now the interesting thing is you have a different configuration for your buttons you have push buttons for your park and neutral but you pull the buttons for drive and reverse which is kind of an interesting approach actually right below that we have our radio controls right below our radio controls we have our climate control the Yukon SLT actually has a three zone climate which means that you can separately control the climate in each individual you know seating position in, in sight but you can also control all three uh, climate controls climate zones from here from the front so you get these physical buttons and you also get these physical knobs with an LED screen here to indicate the temperature of course right below that we have a small storage compartment that you have a USB-C and a regular USB charging port as well as a 12 volt outlet right here you also get wireless phone charging right here as well two big cup holders 
and you get a little bit of more storage here maybe for your phone or for something else and this huge armrest and you can open it up by pushing the button on the front and this opens up an even larger storage compartment in the form of this huge tray and this huge compartment deep compartment right here which also has a USB-C charging port as well as a regular USB charging port in addition to that you also get even more storage to the side of the center console here and in, in the form of this small pocket as well as uh, different compartments here in the door panel for our driver we have this huge 12 inch in diagonal fully digital instrument cluster we have this very nice and comfortable heated steering wheel with buttons here on the back of it to control some of the infotainment system features you also get physical buttons on the front of the steering wheel to control you know some of the other convenience and safety features such as your forward collision warning your heated steering wheel and to access the menu of your instrument cluster as well as the infotainment system to the left here of the steering wheel is your main driver's hub where you have even more buttons to control other features such as your lane keep assist your parking sensors you have your traction control access to your 360 view of the vehicle your engine auto start and stop as well as this is where you can find your drive mode selector and where you can turn on and off your lights in addition to those buttons you get even more buttons right here in the center and this is where you can actually open up and close your lift gate as well as lower and raise your third row seats which is very convenient next are our seats and you get these very nice and comfortable leather seats which are also perforated they're heated cooled you get power seats with four-way power lumbar and you also get memories for two people in the driver's seat no memory in the passenger seat and last but not least since this is the almost fully loaded version of the yukon lineup you also get led lights throughout the entire interior as well as a premium bose sound system Sitting here in the second row of the 2024 GMC Yukon SLT, you are actually just as comfortable as you are uh, as sitting in the front row, in the front seats. You get the same continuation of materials as well as the same layout, if you may. And not only that, but you also get even a little bit of more storage, maybe. Uh, you get storage in the form of these trays here inside the door, pocket storage here behind the driver and the passenger seat, and you get a ton of storage here in between your seats. You get two captain chairs in the back with an armrest, and the cool thing is they're also heated and not only can you move them also forward and backward but you can also recline them for even more comfort in addition to that you get this very cool looking uh, center console with two cup holders you get a little bit of extra storage here for your phone or a smaller tablet your center console again has the climate control unit in it which is a physical knob you get also a digital screen plus this is where you control your heated seats and you get two usb-c charging ports as well as a 115 volt house outlet right here right above us we have these very cool and very interesting uh, vents vent designs here on our ceiling and as well as our led light here Plus, you also get a tiny hook if you want to hook a tiny jacket or a tiny purse or bag or something, anything. Another cool feature that I have yet to see in another vehicle is that you can actually lock and unlock the vehicle from the second row seats as well. Now, when it comes to sitting inside the third row here in the GMC Yukon SLT, you're actually just as comfortable as sitting in the back seat of any regular SUV. You get plenty of leg room, plenty of headroom, and the seats are fairly comfortable here for even longer trips, if you may. Now, you also get a cup holder here to the side, as well as another uh, smaller compartment right here. And you also get a USB-C charging port here in the back, which is very convenient for the people sitting here in the back. Also, you get these very cool air vents that we got in the second row. And you also get your LED lights here. But other than that, there is not much to talk about here about the third row seaters. If there is nobody sitting here in the second row right in front of you and you want to exit, you have two options basically. You can either go around the seat or you can lower the seat by pulling on the strap that is on the lower part of the seat on the passenger side, so on the right hand side of the seat. You just pull, it lowers the seat, and you pull again to raise the seat to give you an even, uh, you know, larger space here for exit. And to raise up the seat, all you do is you push it down, and you raise it back up into its original position. Nice. And that concludes our video for today. Thank you for watching this far. Make sure that you hit the like, share, subscribe button down below. And if you want to see more amazing car videos, hit the thumbnail right there. I'll see you in our next one. Cheers.